So you just come back from a trip to Walmart, which is demonic in itself, okay? But you walk into your house and you smell something strange. Could it be a sign of spiritual attack or even a demon? Well, hello, my silky friends. Yeah, this seems like a weird topic, but I really felt like it was important to share what I know with you and the things that I and other people have experienced. So yeah, when we think of witchcraft attacks and demonic attacks, we think of maybe a whole lot of other things, you know, spells and incantations, and I'm not saying it's not a part of it, but can you smell the presence of a demon that has been sent to harass you or to cause some downfall? The answer is yes, you can. I'm going to talk to you about seven different smells that you can experience when you're under demonic attack. The first one is kind of basic, the smell of sulfur. If you don't, and I know that kind of sounds like, you know, just, oh, well, duh. But seriously, if you don't know what sulfur smells like, it is the smell of like rotten eggs, you know? Have you ever had sulfur burps? Like it's, oh, something's wrong. Like you're stomach is not well and it smells like boiled eggs in your mouth i know it's gross i'm sorry but sometimes that is the smell that we get and of course that is i would say probably the most classic smell that you can have um it may also smell like raw sewage or dare i say gas like as in flatulence not trying to be funny. It's just, it is what it is. I'm sorry. <laughs> so if you smell this smell and you have checked the people around you, checked your garbage, checked your sewer, and there is nothing there, it may just come and go as all these smells do. A lot of them don't just stay in the air. They, they kind of waft in and waft out. But that is the number one sign that you are either experiencing a demon in your home or someone is attacking you with witchcraft and sending their demons. Number two is the smell of decay. I mean, it can sometimes too kind of smell like garbage, but this is like, you know, when you are out somewhere in the woods or whatever, and you can smell a dead animal, or those of you who, like me, are in the healthcare field who have ever been around those kind of smells, you can spot the smell of decay just so quick. It doesn't smell like sulfur. It literally smells like rotting flesh. It is putrid. And you're just like, oh my God, what is that? Again, it may be very transient, just kind of float in and flood, float out. But if you can't find a source, then remember, it could be supernatural. And on that note, let me just say that God gives us supernatural gifts. A lot of times, some people never smell anything, but others are very sensitive, and that is how they can smell um, an attack. So what I'm saying is, if you smell these kind of things, be very aware, because God may be trying to talk to you. The third smell is, again, something that is pretty common with the demonic, and that is the smell of fire or burning. Um, you just smell like something is, you know, on fire. It's, is it electrical? Is, you know, is part of your house burning? You know, you, these kind of things are very alarming. And so, you know, definitely do the smart thing. Okay. Check out and make sure you're, it's not physically coming from somewhere that there's not something in your house. But if you smell that burning smell um, of fire or ashes, even campfire with no reason, and there's nothing outside, nothing inside to explain this, then you need to start praying and try to see if it's spiritual. Now, the next one is the smell of being stale. Sometimes it's musty, like wet, mold, mildew. And sometimes it's just, it, you can have all the air fresheners in the world in your house, but you go in and the air smells heavy, stale, like there's been no fresh breeze blowing through there in weeks. And this is often observed during times of like when you are being caged. Some of y'all know what that means. Um, 
but if someone is trying to reduce you, so to speak, to envelop you, keep you stagnant, which can also be one of those smells. Also, in this case where your air is heavy and not fresh, be on the lookout because sometimes it can be a spirit of python. If you don't know what python is and you want to know, comment below and I will do a video on that one. It is a very slow moving, suffocating. So that's like if you feel like the air is suffocating in your house instead of being fresh, no matter how much air conditioner or whatever windows open that you have, that is very much related to the spirit of Python or a spell or incantation that is trying to keep you in a box, so to speak. You get what I'm saying? Okay, another smell you might experience is, and I said it earlier, a sour smell. But this one is more rancid. Like, you know, when food goes bad and, you know, you're like, oh, this milk doesn't smell good. And so you're like getting a family member, hey, smell this, taste this. Like, we don't want to smell it or taste it. If it smells bad and you think it's bad, just throw it out, okay? <laughs> It's that sour. Sometimes it's almost like body odor, you know, just a <clears throat> unpleasant smell. Um, the the stink that has no source, you know, definitely not your garbage can. It's not a piece of rotten fruit. It's just a rancid, sour smell. I mean, come on, demons stink, so they could smell like any of these things. And basically what it is signifying is that there is something unclean in your house. Again, if you have a spiritual gift of discerning of different spirits, it may come to you in a smell, not just, you know, a vision or a feeling. You have to be open to hearing what God is saying, right? So if you're smelling unclean things and it's not your kid's dirty socks, start praying, okay? Now, this next one kind of goes without saying, I don't smell, and I haven't smelled this very often, um, but you can and might in extreme attack, you may smell the odor of blood. And that is usually a very serious smell, and that would come from a demonic spirit of, let's say, murder or something like that. You see where I'm going? I'm not going to elaborate too much on that, but definitely it can happen. Although in my experience, that one has been more rare. Now, the next one is very surprising because you wouldn't expect it. Okay, this is a smell that you would associate with being good. But again, use your spiritual senses. Now, I'm going to tell you and I will leave reference to these articles. When I started researching this, I came across an article that referenced some papers from medieval German priests. Okay, this is a long time ago. So you can see that this is not a new and bizarre thing. This has literally been going on for hundreds of years to people who have understanding of what is going on around them. I'm going to read this to you. The 1599 witch trial of Isabellian Parmentier includes a witness statement. I, I don't even know. Okay, I'm going to just put it down. I can't pronounce these words. But anyway, one of the witnesses in that trial said that he claimed that after he forbade Parmentier from passing through his garden, he found himself paralyzed the next day and for six weeks afterwards during which time he smelled of sulfur, okay? So this is like hundreds of years ago in a trial, which they used to have trials about crazy things, um, werewolves, all that kind of stuff. But again, if you're doing this in trial, then this was not something that was completely unheard of. Do you understand what I'm saying here? And then I have another article I'm going to link below that's called The Smell of Witchcraft. Now, these are not from a Christian base. These are just general articles about this kind of thing. Now, what I did find interesting about the article that referenced the German priests is that they were dealing with a spirit called Lilith. And I know that's like really big in the witchcraft world. However, 
they viewed Lilith as a succubus or a night spirit, someone, let me say this delicately, who would come in and pleasure you while you're sleeping. Now you have the incubus, which is male, and the succubus, which is female. Now they say that when these kind of spirits come into your area, they are going to mask their smell because, of course, they're demonic, right? So you smell this in your house, you're instantly saying, hey, get out the door. Well, in this case, you will smell a perfume or a cologne. Now, I love a man in cologne, but not an incubus, okay? (laughs) So in order to kind of give you that feeling, you may smell a perfumey, musky kind of smell that is actually pleasant. Again, they are just covering up the stink of their demonic self. I will say I have smelled this before, not very often, but to me, there's a difference in colognes and perfumes that smell good and fresh and sweet and the kind that I mean, honestly, it smells like a house of ill repute. Do you know what I'm saying? It's that kind of perfume. Of It's almost like a dirty perfume smell. It's sweet, but it's sickening, if you know what I'm talking about. There's just different perfumes that smell like you, you ain't real clean, like you're not a good person. Do you know what I'm saying? That's the kind of smell. So I found it very interesting that if you are being... Um, attacked sometimes at night or your spouse or your kids or whatever are being attacked or coming into the there's something coming in your house that is got this smell I would say that if you smell this smell you know you might want to ask some uncomfortable questions of your family are you having nightmares I mean For some people, they think this is a pleasant dream, but I assure you, it is not a dream and you want to avoid it at all costs because there's a whole lot to this, but these spirits will take your essence and they will destroy your life. It is not a pleasurable thing in the long run. You get me? I have to speak very broadly here okay so i can't go into graphic detail but you know what i'm talking about i just wanted to say this because these are things that you really do need to be on the lookout for at any season but um especially during times that you feel like you might be having a demonic attack attack on finances or family or whatever You know, sometimes bad things just happen and not everything is a witchcraft attack. Sometimes it's just life. So if you want to know more about, you know, different ways that you can feel attacked or anything related to this, please comment below and I'll be glad to answer you. Anyway, this was on my mind. I wanted to share it. I thank you so much for listening. Tell me what you think. All right. Be nice. All right. In the meantime, whatever you do. Stay silky. Bye-bye.